Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna play as Isaac this time. We've had a couple of rounds. Didn't necessarily do so hot. The last round we played as Kane. Not necessarily our fault that things didn't necessarily go the way that I wanted them to go there. We had some okay items, but we ended up losing uh, on the cathedral before I was even able to run into Isaac himself, which sucks pretty hard. Spider Butt. This is a perfect candidate for an item that we will pick up. Lament, not getting better luck, and then put back down and reroll into Chemical Peel. Which I'll stick with, uh, largely because I kind of like it in all honesty, even though I know a lot of people are not necessarily thrilled with it. Um, but additionally, it's also, um, you know, a, a damage upgrade, and pretty soon we will be out of uh, rerolls on this floor. We want to save one for the boss, for, to be sure. It's kind of a, let's be honest, it's a little bit of the pussy way out, but uh, you are what you eat is what my mom always said to me. You don't know why, you don't want to know what we were doing at the time, but... Uh, now it's an interesting choice. Do I sacrifice one more heart to get out, or do I just bomb out of the secret room? And I think the, the gentleman's answer here is we just walk out, uh, and we take the damage on the chin, and we keep going. We're not going to have a deal with the devil to worry about. In fact, we are we are going to get to one more reroll, so maybe it would have been for the best to save the reroll. Um, or, to, yeah, to save the reroll and not use it on... Um, these, uh, spider, or, uh, sorry, not picked up chemical peel, sorry, what I meant to say there, uh, and as a result, we'd have another reroll available that we could use either on this room, or if this room ends up paying out with something reasonably good, or at least palatable, um, then we could reroll chemical peel, but in, in all honesty, I, I, think, I don't know why I'm making excuses for myself, I think chemical peel is actually a pretty good item, uh, it may not be the best damage upgrade in the game, but it is a damage upgrade, which is something that you always need, as Kanye West said, uh, have you ever had sex with a pharaoh? put the pussy in a sarcophagus. I think it, it's a, a pretty close metaphor. You probably don't even need me to explain it. We're definitely going to reroll this range upgrade into Squeezy, which is maybe not necessarily better, but what's done is done. Um, basically, um, you know, we're like five minutes into this Isaac episode, or 45 seconds into this Isaac episode. I've already mentioned uh, the, the P word twice. I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. I have a friend uh, that I grew up with in the university who didn't like, didn't like to say the P word um, that refers to a, a, a female's genitalia. And I can understand that, you know, people get weirded out by some words, not by others. There are people that do not like the, the word moist, for example. Moist doesn't really worry me. Um, there are some words I don't necessarily like. Some they, like, they come across as brutish. I'm trying to think of uh, some of them. I don't know, this is the way people say things sometimes, like snatch, not really a big fan of people saying that, can't do anything about it, it just kind of feels like a weird nails across the chalkboard, but I always wondered like, what he would say during dirty talk, because, you know, as you get more anatomically correct, I'm not sure if that necessarily sends the right message, like, mm, girl, I am gonna pleasure your vulva so good, obviously I'm not the dirty talk expert. Uh, sadly born with the, the voice of uh, James Earl Jones, but the mind of Screech Power from uh, Saved by the Bell. Do I really want to... Uh, here's the thing, I'm going to sacrifice my spirit heart first uh, by going into the curse room. And this is largely just to ensure that I know what I'm getting my... Ooh, that's really good. Uh, it's largely just to ensure that I would know exactly how much health I had um, when I went back for, to this area here. Um, I'm trying to think about how I would like to do this. Maybe it's in our best interest to fight the boss first because I do think that this will give us a uh, better chance of getting a deal with the devil. People, by the way, if you're one of the people, and there are many of you out there, who have been, like, just bombarding me with the percentages and the, the details and the conditions of getting deals with the devil, thank you very much, and I mean that sincerely. It may have sounded like I was leading into, like, uh, oh, but I'm too busy to read them. I am, but I really appreciate the little bit of knowledge that manages to percolate in uh, as a result of people sending me that information, so I am slowly picking it up. Something like, if you, if you take no damage on an entire floor, including the boss room, you have, like, a 135% chance uh, thank God we got a spirit heart here, by the way. You have a 135% chance to get a deal with the devil, and that decreases, like, every time you take damage. Something along those lines. Anyway, I, I think is the reasonable um, approximation of what I've been told. We're just going to go back into this room here, and I am going to uh, play the blood bank as much as I can, or until it actually pays out, which is maybe unlikely. Ooh, never mind. I am a very lucky man. This has been a very good couple of floors for us here. I am not going to use my key to either go to the uh, shop or, you know, use any money to, to gamble because I need to save both of those resources right now, I would say. But uh, apart from that, very pleased with the way things have gone. We've gotten uh, one HP upgrade. We also picked up a damage upgrade, a free ability to fly. We've got Curse of the Labyrinth on this floor, which is a little frightening, but should be okay in the whole scheme of things. Basically, we're set up for a pretty good position here, and we still have the D6, which means that uh, anytime we come across an item which is not particularly good, we'll have an opportunity to uh, reroll it. At least uh, assuming that there's a decent amount of space available on the floor. Now, uh, Transcendence is not the best 
flying item. That would probably go to uh, Spirit of the Night or Holy Grail, I guess, because that also gives you the HP upgrade associated with it. Um, or Guppy, I guess, is technically the best flying mechanic, but that's more than one item. Anyway, long story short, uh, it, it's good enough, and it means that I don't have uh, too much impetus to do something like, you know, trade two red heart containers to the devil in order to pick up Spirit of the Night or something like that. Because as good as uh, the Ouija board can sometimes be, or Spectral Tears can sometimes be, I definitely do not think that it is worth uh, the two heart asking price that it often uh, goes for uh, in conjunction with Spirit of the Night. Now, the ability to fly is absolutely worth that uh, in almost all circumstances, but in this case, uh, we're in a better position. You know what? I think I can afford to take this pill. It is puberty, which is functionally meaningless for us right now. I would really like to find either the boss room or the item room straight away because, uh... Or the shop, even, for that matter. Because I want to use my D6 for something, but sadly, we have not really had that opportunity yet so far. And, uh, you know, it's possible when it rains and pours, we'll end up coming across, uh, all of the important rooms where rerolls actually matter all at once. And as a result of them being in quick succession, we won't actually be able to do what I want to do, which is, uh, you know, have the optimum number of rerolls. Uh, in order to ensure that I have the best possible chance of actually getting items that I enjoy. But we're already uh, several rooms deep here, and uh, I've just now encountered the item room. So what's the most valuable room for me over the course of the rest of the game? Ignoring the fact that, you know, Polyphemus, Bomb's Knife, etc., etc., and many great items can show up in the shop. Um, the, or sorry, in the, um... Uh, in the item rooms. Uh, the shop is pretty valuable, just in case we manage to get things that make our reroll more powerful. Now, PhD is pretty good. We could get something better, but I'm not going to re-roll it. Pills show up all the time, uh, and one pill can make the difference between winning a run and losing a run if you get, uh, you know, a full health pill at exactly the right time. Plus, you know, things like health upgrades, uh, or H health ups, I should say, uh, can aggregate and have a cumulative effect, which can actually uh, vastly imp increase your chances of success. So, I think PhD is a pretty good item to go with, even though it is, you know, a boring item. It's a dad choice. It's like, put your money in the bank account, sons. You can save for college. You're like, dad, I want to buy... Killzone Shadowfall, and well, you will regret that when you're 26 and don't have a bachelor's degree and just play Binding of Isaac alone in your basement. Ahoy hoy! I don't know why I am all of a sudden, A, two years older than I am, I'm not 26, uh, but also have my voice has completely changed to like a Rocco's Modern Life caricature. Uh, we found our other item room here. Seriously though, a cautionary tale. Um, we have our other item room over here. Hopefully, uh, if necessary, rerolls become a little bit more valuable here. And this is Magic Mushroom, which is actually a totally awesome pickup. There's no need to reroll that. I'm a little bit salty about it, uh, because, you know, I guess it kind of sucks that I don't get to use this, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility item at my disposal. But also, it's hard to complain about getting, you know, a speed, tears, health, and damage upgrade and a range upgrade uh, all at once. Plus, it makes my dude just look a little larger. You see, you know, it's hard to believe that we started this episode, you know, five or six minutes ago. Obviously, I have no idea what time it is. Uh, we started this episode probably 10 to 12 minutes ago, uh, and, you know, we are a nice-looking little wholesome Isaac child, and now all of a sudden we, uh, we have become an abomination not to project my standards of beauty onto anyone else. But seriously, ye gods. Anyway, uh, I don't know why I have a, a line attached to my face there. That was a little weird. I'm imagining that it's probably some kind of consequence of maybe this combination of items not working 100% with the mod, uh, but it's a relatively minor thing in all honesty, so I wouldn't concern myself too much with it. Alright, we found the shop and a library. So the library is something that's tempting because obviously with the D6, uh, we got all sorts of neat and nifty things that we can do there to get ourselves uh, you know, deeper into the pool, but first things first, we have to go to our shop. And I won't be using a reroll here. The problem with going to the library is that effectively, because I'm not going to be getting rid of the D6, the whole point of going to the library is going to be to get uh, as many items out of the pool that are shitty as possible, so, the I or so that libraries will eventually be like double item rooms to me. Uh, but I'm effectively just throwing a key here uh, away. We'll get whatever's in this, which is that half heart effectively, which is not that useful, at, of course. Uh, and then we'll reroll, and maybe we'll be able to get a spirit heart out of it and guarantee ourselves to fight a, a boss that'll give us a second level cube of meat, but... Uh, you know, I, I kind of doubt it. Ah, maybe not. So we are going to be able to get a spirit heart, and that should guarantee us a fight against pestilence on this floor, which gives us second level cube of meat. Uh, but we will use this. It would, it would have been awesome if we found the library earlier, because it could have soaked up uh, a lot of our rerolls, which just kind of were ended up uh, wasted here. Apologies for the black line on the screen. Again, you know, this is not uh, the Binding of Isaac. I'm playing the Binding of Northern Line, the uh, kind of unlicensed mod. Uh, but, you know, this is the first time I've ever encountered any kind of graphical glitch with it. I would, you know, rank this in the order of magnitude between, like, 
just minor annoyance to makes the game unplayable. This certainly falls into the minorest of minor annoyances, but still, uh, apologies regardless of that. Let's put it this way, I would rather have this black line coming out of the Isaac face than the uh, completely brick PlayStation 4 that Sony shipped to me a couple of days ago, so, uh, you know, in the whole scheme of things, this is relatively minor. Let's go re-roll whatever we've got going on in here, and we did pick up, you know, two books of Belial. Probably could use those for the boss room, but uh, instead, let's just uh, work on getting more of a re-roll. If you're not familiar with what I'm doing here, if you're like, why is this guy wasting his time re-rolling items if he's just going to stick with the, D the D6? Uh, none of those books, obviously, will be valuable to him then. Well, uh, the way that it's intended to work is that you uh, eventually re-roll so much that books, like, they exhaust the pool of books. Uh, so those stop being re-rolled, and then the library essentially just becomes a, a two-re-roll pedestal room uh, where you can get uh, two possible items. Basically, double the value of an item room. Of course, you need to find it. Uh, and it's a lot less reliable to find uh, the libraries than it is to find item rooms, which show up consistently in the same place. But anyway, you probably get the point here. So I took a lot more damage than I'm comfortable with there and uh, re repeated it on this room by dodging like directly into a shot, which was really dumb. But there's a lot of health remaining here that I can use for myself, and uh, we're going to be able to get at least a few more rerolls. This is an extraordinarily large floor. Kind of unexpected. Uh, I, I realize it's a Caves XL, and Curse of the Labyrinth uh, you know, doubles it, I think. I mean, it, that's, what inc that's what designates that there's two floors, but anyway. Uh, we get Book of Shadows here. Book of Shadows could potentially be interesting. If I come across a library, I will probably come back, because that'll give me... Uh, the strength that I need to play the blood bank as much as possible. But in the meantime, let's just continue moving onward, shall we? Because uh, I can't believe we have not found the boss room yet. It's a good thing, because, oh, there's our blood bank right there. Okay, so um, one thing that is possible for us to do now that we have this blood bank is be a little bit risky. Uh, and what I mean by that is we'll, we'll play this and we'll, we'll take some money, uh, but we'll go down to one heart. And then I'll... For the, the payout here is very good, by the way. I'll go down to one heart. Uh, and hopefully we'll get the blood bag. We didn't. But now I can go back to this boss trap room, and hopefully the boss trap, boss trap room has some HP in it. Uh, and then I can regenerate my health and just snag an HP upgrade basically for free. Possibly play, snag another one by way of the blood bag. And, uh, you know, Bob's your uncle. Life's good. Oh, that's so shitty that there was a red heart there. Now I have to go all the way back to the blood bag and uh, make it work. Oh, you've noticed that I've started slurring my words uh, when I say blood bang. Because I just I, I got tired of making the mistake every single time. Blood bank, blood bag. Tomato, tomato, right? Um, whoa, that paid out with 11 cents? That is a crazy good value right there. We just gotta... I, am I missing something? Like, is there an item that we have as Isaac that makes the blood bank pay out with a nickel every single time? We just got 20 cents in two blood bank plays. That's, like, basically crazy. Now, we can still die right here, but that's uh, extraordinary in and of itself. What a glorious king's bounty. We got an HP upgrade just for coming in here, which is, uh, again, if you recall, basically what I consider to be my uh, uh, ideal circumstance. So as a result of that, we're probably substantially less likely to die on this room, and of course we're substantially more likely to not die later on in the game uh, because of this extra HP that has now been added to our arsenal. Additionally, we uh, get two more plays in the blood bank just as a result uh, of having that extra HP. Plus, if we get a spirit heart, that'll make us last a little bit longer in that sense as well. But anyway. Um, now we go back for Book of Shadows. I mean, you'd probably use Book of Shadows to play the, uh, Blood Bank just a little bit. I don't necessarily want to play it too many more times, uh, without knowing how I'm gonna be here, if that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, so why don't we go back that way. And then, of course, we'll do more backtracking, because we probably have at least one more reroll opportunity before we even get to the boss room. Um, uh, but I want to find the boss room as soon as possible, so I can, you know, say that with some kind of authority. Game's getting a little uh, choppy here on the frame rate side. I apologize for that, but uh, again, it smoothed itself out more or less right there. You might not have even been able to notice it in the video, but uh, maybe you were able to notice it in the video. It's all good either way. Okay, so here's Book of Shadows. Let's get ourselves like another 80 cents. All right, that turned out to be basically totally unnecessary because it paid out immediately afterwards anyway. So let's go drop off Book of Shadows. We are now at 7 HP on the fourth floor, which is just crazy talk. And, oh, that's what it was. Someone had sent me a Skype message. No harm, no foul. It happens sometimes. So... Uh, I am going to get a reroll charge, and we probably won't use it again until after the boss fights, just as we'll see if there's a deal with the devil. I doubt... Uh, actually, no. I think we have a fairly reasonably good chance of getting one. Uh, but so far, so good. Obviously, the luck that I've uh, experienced so far has been extraordinary uh, already. Two blood bags on the, the first floor. Four floors, plus uh, the HP upgrades that I've gotten as a result. And we have not had to use the D6 here, except to reroll the uh, Books of Shadows. 
I'm just looking at this and I'm like, you know what? Maybe we will go back and reroll Book of Shadows. Uh, there's two of them back there. And the reason behind that is because uh, we definitely have at least two more rooms of combat left between the bosses, uh, which would give us, you know, two thirds of a reroll charge. And then we also have that one room that probably leads to them, uh, which gives me the opportunity to possibly get one more charge. Now, if this doesn't have any enemies in it, that's going to suck pretty hard, but it's a calculated risk I'm willing to take. And unfortunately, there was no other way to feel it out without, you know, short of walking into the room, seeing if there's enemies using a bomb leaving uh, and then going back and re-rolling. So in, in any case, it's irrelevant. We've almost exhausted the amount of books that you could possibly find uh, in the library, which is good. Um, it means that if we find libraries in the future, they will be very likely to pay out with some good stuff. And we got a pill, which could absolutely quite reasonably be a uh, an attribute upgrade of some sense. Uh, it's actually bombs or key, which could be useful for us. Not necessarily right now, but um, you know, there could be a point even on the very next floor uh, where we end up actually needing more keys than we have, uh, because we certainly have enough money to go to the shop. That's the other kind of unsung hero on this floor, uh, is that we picked up, you know, just 40 cents, no big deal, uh, just by playing a blood bank, which eventually paid us out with um, extra HP and speed anyway. So, easy uh, cube of meat. Remember, we guaranteed ourselves that cube of meat by putting ourselves in a position where we were able to reroll for Book of Revelations. Anyway, um, not the greatest item that one could possibly get, but uh, second level cube of meat is pretty nice. Gives us the opportunity to do a little bit more damage uh, with every single pass. But, um, you know, this is actually a fairly substantive uh, moment of truth here. If you're able to kill Gertie without having the temptation to use any bombs, that's usually a pretty good indicator that you're having a decent run, because Gertie, uh, at this point in the game, relatively easy to avoid getting hit, but relatively difficult. Um, to kill because it's just very hardy. It's, it seems like that enemy was spawning like a bunch of fucking flies. Uh, I don't know if there's some kind of glitch with the game's payouts right now. So we have the Pact and Brimstone. I'm gonna take the Pact. I thought about taking the Pact and Brimstone. We'll reroll uh, Brimstone. Eh, it's not worth it in my opinion. And we'll go down to the next floor. So we still got six health. We've got the Pact now. We can fly. Got a lot of very good things going for us. The one thing we've lacked kind of so far, and uh, we lacked this on the last run as well. It's, it's paid out with a fucking dime? Are you kidding me? Um, one thing that we missed out on, and we've kind of missed out on the, this run so far as well, is uh, really good shops. So I'm, I'm hoping that we manage to come across that in the future. Uh, you know, map and compass, nine volts, blue candle, etc., etc. Uh, hopefully uh, any one of those items shows up and we don't just, you know, end up wasting our time uh, going in there to fight Greed multiple times. So there's our shop, you know, we have 66 cents and we fought Greed on the last floor. Basically the, the perfect storm of uh, shops that should be opened. Lots of money and a pretty unlikely chance to run into a mini boss. We get Mom's Purse, which is not fantastic and because we're early enough in the game, I'm gonna reroll it. Uh, do I want to use the map instead? Not particularly. Um, that's a death card, which is basically useless. Uh, I'm gonna go into the, you know, curse room and we'll, we'll figure this out in a second. We got two pills in here. One of them is bombs are key. One of them is... Tears up. Okay, so we'll, we'll take our death card out of here. Bombs are key is not as useful for us. Would be nice to have six keys, I suppose. Um, in fact, why don't we just flip that over right now? Uh, yeah. We're gonna save the map, not because I, I think the map's a bad item, but because I do think it gives me a pretty nice opportunity. Uh, okay, so we know that there's not gonna be any mini boss on this floor. That was probably, for the, the kids at home, the worst use of the death card I have ever seen. Basically, I did 10% health uh, to some of the easiest mini phase of that mini boss uh, in the entire game. So, uh, you know, learn from my mistakes, don't do what I do. That was an extremely bad use of the death card. That being said, not that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things, and we'll continue moving onward. So, run shaping up very, very nicely so far. We could, um, you know, there's always things you could use uh, as of right now. Wouldn't necessarily hurt to have more health and have the opportunity to get, uh, to become guppy, even though I did pass on, uh, oh, that was really stupid of me. Even though I did pass on, uh, nine lives, because I think it's the worst guppy item out of all of them by far. Even though guppy's tail is not particularly strong and guppy's head takes up a space bar slot. Uh, I much prefer those to the alternatives. What do we have in here? We have, uh, a regular chest, so I'm gonna go back and reroll that map, and, uh, I really want this to pay out with a nun's habit. 
or a battery or a 9 volts or a compass. Those are like the four items uh, of choice that I would go with right now and be very pleased about. Blue Candle is also on there. So you know what? For all that I've said so far about, um, you know, let's go to the library. Let's make sure we use our D6 effectively. Clearly, my principles mean nothing because I will just pick up this blue candle. And uh, now I have become a serious force to be reckoned with. As much as I realize that there's some probably a, a small contingent of people that are not very pleased with me as a result of this uh, decision that I've made. It's the smart decision, I think, uh, from a victory standpoint. And, you know, I, I need a victory. It's been a little while since I've actually beaten the game, so I would appreciate the opportunity to to do so, uh, and that's why I took that item. So not the not a huge deal in the whole scheme of things. I think hopefully people aren't too concerned about it, but uh, it, it's the right decision from a tactical level at this juncture. I think earlier on in the game, uh, D6 may uh, have more value than the blue candle. At this point, it, has it did, uh, lowered in value enough to make blue candle that much better? Probably not, but uh, you know, it's fine. We uh, also have this devil card. We also picked up the small rock, which I was in the middle of uh, my rant, so I didn't get a chance to really talk about. But obviously picking up the small rock is, is also excellent. Uh, it's a damage upgrade. It carries a small speed downgrade, which may actually be uh, almost uh, positive in its own right because we were already traveling super quickly as a result of the double blood bags we'd gotten. So uh, I'm pleased with this. I, I think we're in a very good position moving forward, and I don't think it's unreasonable at all uh, to believe that we will have the opportunity to win this run and, and win it with bells on, basically. But, uh, oh my... Wait, I, that was so weird. There, is there like an option ticked in the game right now or something? I picked up that penny and it paid out with a nickel afterwards. I swear to you that I am not deliberately cheating right now. I don't even know if that's an option in the, the this version of the game. Um, maybe that's my cue to go back to the uh, vanilla version of the game though. It, it, it could also theoretically just be some kind of weird glitch as well. We just got third level Meat Boy. When it rains it pours with luck sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's weird. Also, you know, if, if you thought I was cheating, do you really think that I would cheat to give myself uh, like an obvious extra two nickels per floor? Uh, especially when I haven't really purchased anything from the shop at all except for this blue candle. Anyway, I, I'm going to trust that people are going to trust me on that one. I actually did find the secret room there, which is pretty lucky. We'll go check that out. At this point, you know, far be it for me to take some of the tension out, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily say we're just going through the motions, but I do think we're in a, a very, very good position. Uh, both offensively and defensively here. I kind of wish we'd bought him, or bought him? Is that really what I'm going to do now? Is misconjugate, like, words that I've used since I was three years old? Uh, I really wish that I had purchased... Uh, oh my god, Nun's Habit was just in here. Uh, I wish that I purchased the Mom's Purse, because Liberty Cap is a pretty cool trinket. But, uh, not the end of the world that we didn't. And also, this allowed us to get Blue Candle, which has turned us into the hulking monstrosity that we are today. So, uh, I, I don't know why I was so psyched to pick up Nun's Habit. I just realized that, of course, I, I have Blue Candle, which, you know, recharges by itself very, very quickly. Uh, so it's not that great, but if we end up getting rid of Blue Candle for something else at some point, maybe that's, you know, there's value associated in that. For now, uh, we're just gonna get ready to go to this mom fight. What is my ideal item at this point? Uh, a guppy's paw after the womb part one boss fight would be pretty amazing and basically make me I would you know borderline invincible invincible is a, a very cocky way of saying it but I do think we'd be very very strong and hard pressed to actually get the loss and you know ever since we've given up the d6 we are still picking up some fairly useful items we got that third level meat boy we got dead bird which you know not the most useful item in all likelihood but we also picked up uh, an attack fly which is going to do a ton of damage to enemies in the vicinity uh, we've already been to what looks, what appears to be every room of value here. Unless there's a library available on this floor, but I've already, you know, thrown my uh, library allegiances away, as you've seen earlier. So, uh, this is the number one trick. Everyone probably knows this by now, but you use the blue candle on, like, the sides of the, the walls on the mom boss fight. Assuming you have blue candle, and it makes it very, very easy to succeed. We got meat! It's almost unfair. I kind of wish I could spread some of this luck out over uh, other runs. Meat is a fantastic item, an HP upgrade that also gives us some damage upgrades, and we'll head down to the next floor. I'm going to take a second to rehydrate. So, what are we lacking? Compass? That sucks. Um, apart from that, not too much. We have great health, great damage, uh, a third level Meat Boy, a great space bar item. We're in a good, good spot here, especially relative to how we did last time. We also have... Uh, we got friends to the end there. We also have the PhD, so we know all pills that we're going to get are good ones. And that's pretty important because, again, uh, one pill can, do, can end up making uh, all the difference. And I'm not even... 
uh, exaggerating when I, that, when I say that. It can make all the difference when it comes to uh, increasing your chances later in the game. That is another friends till the end, which kind of sucks. But we did get a Tammy, or sorry, a Guppy's head payout, which is pretty much worthless. But it does put us in a position. I might as well at least spawn flies as a result of it. But it does put us in a position where we are a little bit more likely to become Guppy. Not extraordinarily likely to become Guppy because we're still missing two of the items. But you know, we're we're the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and we just took that single step by uh, at least getting that item right there. That being said, we are going to leave it behind and take Blue Candle with us as we make our way through the mom's snaking uterus here. Uh, probably a sentence that I, I hoped I would never say, but deep down in my heart knew that uh, the, the possibilities there, isn't it? The, the life takes us all on a crazy journey. Sometimes that journey uh, puts you deep within the uterus of your mother that you've abandoned and you know made your escape from, but then sadly had to return to later. Sorry, mom. Uh, tears upgrade. Good enough. Basically, we are uh, steamrolling the floor as we come across it here. Should be relatively easy to just continue doing that as time goes on. Ah, you know what it absolutely is opening up a red chest here. Now it's not. Hindsight is always 2020, of course. Uh, unless your, your memory has myopia. The myopic memory. Is that like a Della Soul album yet? Because if it's not, it should be. Uh, that was a really stupid uh, damage to take there, but that's fine. The one thing that gives me a little bit of a, a concerned pause right now is that I don't have any way of replenishing my HP beyond, uh, you know, consumable red hearts and spirit hearts that I just kind of find in the wild. So, uh, why is that a concern? It is it's a concern because if I, um... Well, why are you a concern, mister? I Clearly, I don't have an answer for you. No, it's, it's a concern because if I go on a, a, a bad streak, which is fairly typical of my play, and I end up taking a lot of damage, then it's possible I could find myself in an insurmountable position. We are going to get fourth level Meat Boy, uh, which is nice. And, you know, if you're going to get third level Meat Boy, it, it makes sense to be excited about getting fourth level Meat Boy. I know some people uh, hold to the fact that uh, they believe that second level Meat Boy is actually the strongest, or the most valuable at least, because it also gives you the defense by being an orbital. I don't necessarily agree. It, you know, I, I think it's arguable that um, maybe the second level is better than the third level, but I think the, the fourth level is demonstrably better than both of them, uh, just in terms of the sheer damage that it does. That's my hunch anyway. You know, don't don't shake up my worldview. It's it's impolite. No deal with the devil, sadly. But a fourth level meat boy, good enough on its own. The devil card that we have will be nice as well. We'll probably save that as long as we can. Which in this case, uh, not unrealistically, could be the end of the game. We get the umbilical cord, which is a useless trinket at the best of times, and we have a free judgment, which is actually just again, uh, when it rains it pours. This is incredibly good luck, and it uh, appears to be continuing. So. Hopefully he'll pay out with something, even something as basic as an HP upgrade. Hopefully it is not, um, yeah, it's just an HP upgrade. I was going to say, hopefully it's not something like a bad spacebar item, or even an adequate spacebar item, uh, because at this point, that's basically borderline worthless to me, isn't it? What am I going to do with an item that's just not quite as good as Blue Candle? I'm going to do jack shit with it. I'm going to shove it straight up my asshole. That's how all the celebrities are doing it these days. Zero calories. Uh, Meat Boy hasn't done too much yet. We've come across a second judgment, which now I'm, I've, I've got my like skepticism filter on, and I really feel like uh, oh, the ladder, fantastic. I'm not even gonna pick it up. That's how spiteful I am. Um, I really feel like a two judgments on the same floor. Like that's pretty suspicious. I have no idea what's causing this exceptional luck, but uh, I, I'm certainly glad that it does exist. Is there any way for us to get Guppy's paw? A yeah, I guess we could maybe get it from a random red chest in this curse room right here. But uh, if this shows up, this will look real goddamn suspicious, so I almost hope that it doesn't. Uh, well, we get pills and flies. Okay, so lucky me then. Or maybe unlucky me. Lots of flies on this run as well. We got the devil card, and our other pill is tears up, which we'll absolutely take. And there's another uh, kind of unsung hero that I haven't really talked about. Lots of tears up pills. That's good news uh, for everybody involved, I would say. Might as well just play our blood bank. Uh, you know, we could probably afford to play it at least a couple times here. Ah, it gave us IV bag, which I'm not even going to pick up. And we'll just get the fuck out of here. At least we, again, it's better to know than to not know. Unless knowing would possibly kill you. Which it didn't. So, uh, the fact that we now know that that was uh, an IV bag is fine. And if I picked it up, then all blood bags forever for the rest of this run would pay out with uh, blood bags. All blood banks would pay out with blood bags. Um, I hope I said that even close to correctly, but uh, it, it would be fine. Basically, we'd be okay. Or basically, we are okay. Because uh, I really doubt we'll come across another judgment. A uh, demon judgment, I should say. But de what does demon judgment have to do with this? Sorry. I doubt we'll come across another um, temperance card or blood bank. Uh, via an arcade or otherwise. It's actually it's a pretty reasonable possibility. But it is probably more unlikely than likely. 
Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, our bombs have come back to match our keys, which is nice. And hopefully we'll find the boss room as soon as possible because uh, basically I'm, I'm cruising for uh, a bruising to give to Isaac here. But I'm uh, hoping that uh, we manage to find him right away because at this point, uh, not to say that this run is boring right now, but there's just not enough uh, competition from the enemies here to really make me feel like I'm in a concerned state, which I am not. So there's a demon judgment. Good thing I didn't say that there would not be a demon judgment because one literally just showed up and gave me Lord of the Pit, which is uh, effectively worthless right now, except as a small speed upgrade, which is basically meaningless right now because I already have so many of those. Um, but in the meantime, let's just GTFO. I don't know why I walked into that thinking that it wouldn't hurt me for some reason. All right, so this is the only reason that Meat Boy is sometimes horrible. Um, he kicks these bombs around and knocks them out of the area where I want them to be. Also, his AI sucks sometimes, but this time it's been pretty good so far. Uh, between Blue Candle Meat Boy and the bombs that I am throwing down, I would be very surprised if Mom's Heart ends up throwing up any kind of uh, reasonable resistance here. Reasonable resistance? Is that a, an Outcast album yet? That doesn't really fit. It would have to be like, you know, that it, many words mashed together that make me uncomfortable pronouncing them. Hey guys, you like a Quamini? Anyway, uh, I don't know why. My uh, blue candle shot went so far off the rails right off the bat there, but I'm guessing we're in kind of the area where uh, one or two blue candle shots is enough to completely neutralize uh, the greeds that we come across, and most of the other enemies we come across, to be fair. But uh, HP is pretty low right now, I'm noticing. Dwindling a little bit. This is uh, a small crisis for now, but it could, it could snowball out of control pretty quickly. Hopefully we do manage to come across some uh, HP, that is not it. I do want to go to that curse room, but I can't really afford to with my HP being so low. And this is a room where it is very nice to have uh, Meat Boy because it actually does put me in a position uh, where I don't need to shoot and I can still do damage, which is nice because that means I can uh, spend more time just controlling Monstro's position. Tears up, sure. Would very much welcome a full health pill at this point. We can only really take three hits. Mm, tough room, toughish room anyway. Gertie Jr. at the at the best of times is a little tricky, but we're fine. I found pills. Might as well take them. Uh, that not good advice for the kids out there. But anyway, golden chest has a half red heart in it. It's something. Uh, we have a library as well. Maybe all of our hard work earlier will pay off now with uh, double Necronomicons, which I'm going to leave in there because I am a lazy man. So obviously those Necronomicons not particularly valuable. Although I could use them, for example, on this room right here, and that might save me some problems. Ooh, been hit twice, huh? That's how we're gonna do this. Um, I gotta stay away from this uh, the guy, that guy right there, but we're still alive here. Two hearts is not gonna be enough to kill Blue Baby. This could be a full health pill. It is. All right. What did I? Say? What have I been saying? Lamp shading for so long. Um, and of course, we immediately found Blue Baby afterwards, which just makes this even funnier. But um, I've been saying all along, one pill at the right time can uh, absolutely save the day. And that's exactly what just happened, uh, strangely enough. All right. Well, if he's already going to be firing at me continuously, I would like it if Dead Bird could actually get in there and add to the damage just a little bit. Um, please, at, at any point in the future, would you like to... Um, maybe, like, Meat Boy's already occupying the uh, the one aggro slot for familiars, so Dead Bird can't actually get in there, in which case, why the fuck do I have Dead Bird in the first place? But sure, you know, hang out, whatever, Dead Bird. You can be a morale booster. Uh, you'd like the parrot from the cave or something like that. In mere moments, you'll be dead. Fantastic. And Isaac died pretty quickly, but we did use our devil card there. So, uh, oh, that is real nice. We'll probably stick with the candle, but Polyphemus uh, trumps all. We will the candle be better than... Oh, this is some real fucking damage here. I like it. Um, will the candle be better than, say, using a fifth level Meat Boy... Uh, via the shears on that uh, blue baby fight. Absolutely, because uh, it allows... This is uh, another full health pill. All right, this is very, very good. Um, it allows for uh, Meat Boy and Dead Bird, if it actually works, to do most of the damage. And then I can use uh, my tears, yes, but also I can use Blue Candle defensively to block the shots that come in as a result of the inevitability of, uh, you know, Meat Boy attacking and thus causing uh, Blue Baby to shoot. So, uh, that Polyphemus pickup is big, but in the end, uh, I don't think that was necessary. Uh, we, we will pick up this, just because we should. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary, and I say that I don't think it's necessary, because uh, the, the most important thing was just that we picked up that second full health pill. That's going to make it nearly impossible to, to fathom the idea of us dying, I think. Uh, I really don't think 
it's likely that it's going to, to happen here. Uh, it can't. It basically can't. Uh, unless I fuck up and accidentally hit the Q key and lose this full health kill. Uh, even still, well, we got another Eternal Heart, which is useless, but we have a Terra card back here. We have, Oh my god, okay! We picked up Mom's Knife and Polythemus on the chest. Uh, all misgivings I've previously had about the chest forgiven, and check that shit out. This is gonna be the easiest death of all- or easiest kill of all time. Uh, my only hope is that- let's set an internal goal for ourselves. Oh my god, I basically am foreshotting Blue Baby here. Uh, if I beat him without using the full health pill, then it's all good. Okay, that was super easy. That was a lot of fun. So, I don't know, um, the cheat engine worked accidentally that time. Maybe. Or we just got the most exceptional luck I've ever seen in my entire life. But as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode as much as I did, and I enjoyed it a lot, then I would encourage you to click the like button. It does help me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more uh, Daily Isaac on my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for your support in advance. And I will see you next time.